two years of wood come here. Finally, I've made it. So I'm coming in now. I haven't got a clue what this is, by the way. I've done very little research. Always makes a better day. So that I'd expect from this rather large, impressive little screen. I'll put in some highlights. Yeah. So we're done in that little waiting area. We're wandering through. Wow. Should we go up towards the back or? Look at this. So some fancy looking seats, isn't they? Yeah, highlights there from the extraordinary voyage. That's quite good. It's a bit like a uh, an old style original flying theatre, is what I describe that building as. That riders is in an impressive show building there. Look. What did you think, Father? Different. That's what I'm getting from you. Different. Wants to be a bit more. Oh, we got some more. We need a. What do we need? More, uh, excitement. A bit more excitement in it. That was unique looking splash battle esque ride here. I'm not sure who makes this. Doesn't look like a Mac ride, does it? Let's have a little look at this. It's lovely and hot. So, yeah, you got some targets. There's no guns for us to shoot. That's cool. We might do that a bit later. Still trying to find my bearings at the moment now, though. Wandering around here, having a little look, trying to find somewhere to get something to drink. It's 35 degrees here in France today. But, as you can see, look, it's incredibly busy here if you do a scope here today. And a lot of the drinks and 
vending places we've come across are closed. I understand that, it's quiet. But geez, some of them should be open, it's 35 degrees and dying of thirst, man. Lovely little landscape park, though. We're gonna walk across this bridge later, get some better views. Incredibly quiet here on a, on a Thursday, early September, 2023. I think this is where they're doing the nighttime show. I'm hoping it'll still go ahead tonight. It's advertised as it's going ahead. Like I say, there's about seven people here, so we'll see. It's an impressive building, isn't it? I like that. Okay. Skinny Max Theatre. We'll check it in a bit. But I think I found somewhere open where we can possibly get a drink. Let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't look open either. It looks shut again. So anywhere we can get a drink in this park today. So that's that closed. It's the aero bar closed. The aero bar opens between three and eight. Have a little look while I've got you filming. Just want somewhere to get a bottle of water. I'm getting a bit frustrated, to be honest. I think there may be somewhere in. This time it's free. What are we talking? What are we talking for a pint of beer, though, Dad? You're talking eight euros. Yeah. But you get to sit in that seat here, look. Yeah. And take it all up there. Yeah. So nice. it's pretty cool. Oh, I've got to give it a go. Slide cred and all that. <laughs> look at that for a slide. Oh, this one's tension closed, look. That's huge, man. Uh, tension closed. It's a bit upsetting I would have done that. It's massive. Gotta show you that. How cool is that? It's coming to us Futura show, chill out in a hammock. Loving that I am. Oh, and even better, look over there, look. Let me zoom right in. Look at that. How cool is that? Just come and sit in the scope and chill out in the sun. It's awesome. Anyway, we're going to go to Objective Mars. I have a very impatient father who wants to do the roller coaster more than me. I know I do this roller coaster quite a lot. It's a rare cred. I don't know how many people have done this. Let me know. Let me know if you've been to Futuroscope. What did you think? Is it good? Tell me in the comments. Would you want to come? Would you come? Or watching this vlog would make you want to come? Just comment anything. Let's have a word with, with the old man here. What do you make of the park so far? It's good. It's good, he likes it. He's enjoying it, so that's good. Even better if we get a move on. So <laughs> He just wants to do every ride super quick. Let's have a little look at the test vehicle. Just here, look. Come on, look at that. It's quite cool, isn't it? So, just here, what we got is an Interman multi-dimensional coaster. 2021 this opened. There's only five of these multi-dimensional coasters in the world. I've done three of them. This will be the fourth. Let's get on, shall we? I'll put some footage in during the queue. So you ready to go to Mars, Dad? Hello. You ready to go to Mars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot I have him, don't I? Objective Mars. It's a pretty high bucket list coaster for me, to be honest. One, I like Interman multi-dimensional coasters. And two, I'll be honest, it's very rare. Don't know many people have done this great. I can't think of any major UK theme park vlogger who have got this. Let me know if I'm wrong. I wouldn't class myself as a major UK theme park vlogger either, I'll be honest. Definitely a UK theme park vlogger. Major being the word that isn't true there. I like this station, it's cool, isn't it? Very clinical looking. Space station-esque. Yeah. Rubber ducky up there, look. Bath on the ceiling. A bit different. No. Oh. We're gonna walk across the surface of Mars here, look. It's good, isn't it? It's me, but hi. Very well. Themes queue line here, I'm impressed so far.
Yeah, I'll be honest, it's one of the main reasons I've come on this little French trip. There's one roller coaster. Oh no, we've got like oh, at least seven minute queue. Whatever next. Some funky looking trains, aren't they? They do look similar to Untried. Right, we ain't got a long look, down the stairs, just to there, and then we're in the station. See you on ride. Subjective Mars, what do you think, Dad? It was good, short. Yeah, it was short. short. He's right, it was short. But, uh, it, was, it was good, it was a good spin round. Yeah, it was good. The, um, as you see there in that little bit of footage I just put, the trains weren't spinning for some reason. I'm not sure why. Obviously inside that little building right there is a little bit of a surprise. I won't ruin it for you. But I enjoyed it. It's cred to cred and all that. And that's a rare one, so I'm happy with that. We're going to try the rides I'm probably most anticipated for in this whole park. Tornado. Tornadoes. What are you expecting? A bit of rain. A bit of rain. Go and have a look. Right, I'll get in queue. I love a themed queue, you know that. this wow look at that that's cool let's spin out some force good representation of a tornado there though sector four wow this queue is amazing so i got here what are we Walking through the queue for is a 2022 Dynamic Attractions ride. The only one of these in the world. And from the limited information I know about this ride, it looks very similar to what Intamin are doing for Efteling in Dance Macabre. From what I can see. Of course this one came first. Dance Macabre's not there yet. Doesn't, I don't know how long we've got to wait. But I'll put some on right footage when I can. Yeah. 
Just got off chasing tornadoes. It was good. Technology's good. It broke down twice, which really ruins it. You know what I mean? So when we we're on it, it broke down once. It stopped. I think they had a problem with restraints, so they restarted it, reset, and then it went again. And then it broke down again. One of the screens didn't shut up properly. Amazing technology when it works. I'm gonna probably give that rider another go with another chance a bit later when hopefully they fix any technical issues they may be having. Right, I think we're going to sit down and have a little 10 minute break. It's 35 degrees at 5 o'clock at night on the 6th of September here in Portiers. It's hot man. So we're going to sit down and have 5 minutes and then we'll see what we've got coming up next. Yeah, so uh, well, let me just show you behind me that we've come up quite hard to have a drink. I'll play some more views and yeah, the aero bar having a, having a drink. Harry view there of Objective Mars. So the show building for Arthur there and for um, the tornado chasers we've just done. It's a nice view, it's just a beautiful day here in France. Absolutely. Yeah. Stunning day to be up in an aero bar having a drink. First time I've had a point this high. <laughs> it's not mine, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Here's a bit of footage there. An the aero bar up there, look. Where we went. It was good, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> About 18 quid for two beers, you know what I mean? Nine quid. But that wasn't too bad, I suppose. You're at theme park, you're going up in an aero bar, you're going to pay a bit more. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So we're having a little wander across this, this massive bridge that pretty much seems to span most of the park. I went under it like, earlier, so I thought we'll wander back this way and come over it. And I'll put in some footage. So down here, I'll tell you what I've noticed around this park, actually everywhere. Let me zoom in to show you what I'm talking about. See these here. I think this is great, by the way. There's just random bean bags for people to chill out in. Just left laying all over the park. I've seen people laying them today. It's very hot today. You're 35 degrees, man, at 5 o'clock at night. But they're cool. I like that. Hats off to Futuroscope for that. So this is the uh, future scope, it's the kids play area. This is slides and climbing frames. I'll give that climbing frame a go myself. I'll show you guys this though, I've never seen this before. Look over here, look. Look what we've got here, see if you can guess what it is, what is it? They figured it out. Let me zoom in to show you. So of course, it's trampolines on water. <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. Let me know if you have trampolines on water. Bit different, isn't it? 
Can I have a little look over here? I'm not sure what this building is here. I've got to be honest. I will check it out. I'll let you know. Looks cool though, doesn't it? Big indentation in it. An illusion magic show over there. Oh, Annabelle will be upset with me. She loves one of these boat rides. I forget the make and model. But they're one of her favourites. You get a good drift on them when you get them going. Lots of this art all over Futuroscope. Sculptures. It's a cool place. Very quirky. Yeah, I'll show you guys this again. I know I've just pointed it out, but we'll put it again. This is amazing. I've never seen this in a the theme park, and it's so simple. Hang on a minute. Wait a second. How cool is this? Oh, this little souvenir cups look here for Tourscope. Reach on your buy. I like that. It's cool. Right, two off. I'm having a rest. And that's where we were. Sat there having a drink. Lovely views. Right now, I'm still sat here in my beanbag if I'm honest. Chilling out all the way back here. So we're at the entrance of Futuroscope. Temporary entrance, I think. They're building well, what looks like a substantial indoor water park for 2024. I'll put in a bit of footage of the construction highlights. About here, look. Anyway, back with me. So this is the temporary entrance right now. That look that good, does it? Hopefully when they finish renovating, it will look considerably better. Better go for something to eat. It's right behind me in the backwards spelling space loop restaurant. Don't know if you guys have ever heard of this or seen it. Come have a look with me, see what we get. Just had my, uh, what have I just had delivered? Right. My pork to chuchery board. It's just come down the rails. I'll try and catch the mains coming down and see if we get some go for that loop. That's cool, man. But I'm gonna eat this, let you know what I think. Poo, flying about rails everywhere. How cool is that? It's an amazing design, isn't it? Oh, what have we got coming down here? Looks like something for us. We're number four. And our delivery's here. Right, let's see what my roller coaster track delivered me, shall we? Let's open it up together. What have we, what have we got here? Oh, look at that. Pork tenderloin, some mashed potato looks. That yeah, looks classy. I'm gonna chow down on this and let you know what I think. Yeah, so it's a roller coaster restaurant. It was alright, I had pork tenderloin and mashed potatoes and a thyme dew. The potatoes were a bit lumpy and the pork was dry, I'll be honest. It was alright. It's more about the quirkiness of getting food sent round to you on a roller coaster. So upstairs above the roller coaster restaurant. I think I just found the coolest bar I've ever been in in my life. 
Look at this. Look at the decor in here. How cool is this? What a bar. So I'm loving the, the bar options <laughs> here at Futuroscope. Look at this. How cool is this? Full on spaceship right in the middle. Like, not even a little one though. Proper theming in the Futuroscope bars up here. Look at that. How cool is that? Theming here is unbelievable, people. Mega visit. Not been. Gum. It's awesome. Yeah, it's been a little while since I spoke to you, to be honest. We've been sat around enjoying, enjoying a drink and some some food in the Space Loop restaurant here. So I'm here. You can see it's a big park, man. We're going to see if we can try and find over here the rabbit ride. But the main reason I'm still in the park is because tonight we've got the... Oh, it's just gone off the screen. Here we go. The, the Sandman show. So that's coming up. Stay tuned. Cool are they? Seems the attraction's closed, unfortunately. I tell you what, considering the park's open until 10, I think me and my dad are the only two left here. As you can see, look. Look around me. There's not a soul. <laughs> I've got the park to myself. It's a very eerie feeling. The night time show is still going ahead, so I think it might just be me and my dad watching it. But it's definitely still happening. I asked. But anyway, I'd try these if they was open. Look at them. A different <laughs> I've never seen a a boat on a bike. Yeah, it's an eerie weird feeling having a theme park to yourself. Almost. Look yeah, at this, how cool does that look? And there's some there's some architecture for you right there. Anyone who watches my vlogs knows I'm into architecture. It's impressive. A bit pricey at nearly 50 euros, but I like that jumper. Oh, these are cool. I've not seen them in a the theme park before. Electric effect t-shirts, light included. 20 euros. Like that. It's quite cool, isn't it? What are we talking for that? Let's have a look. There's no price anywhere on that, nowhere at all. I like that. I think that'll be the t shirt I purchase. I'll let you know. So we just walked down again around here. Hyper State Park's advertised open to Hyper's 10. And I've, I've got to have a little whinge, I don't like a whinge. The Rabbids ride is shut. The ride we did over here earlier, the Extraordinary Voyage, it's not the Extraordinary Voyage, I forget what it's called. I put that on my footage in earlier. That's shut. The Space Ride over here, just under this tree, just there, closed. So then we come over to here to the extraordinary voids, the flying theatre, closed. You, you see my uh, where I'm going with this. I'm all happy, you know, for a park to close attractions if the park's quiet. But you advertise up until half past ten. There's two hours until the park closes, and a good eighty percent of the attractions are closed. Yes, it's quiet. Yes, you, you see me say there's no one here. Look, I mean, there's no one here. Well, that's irrelevant. I've paid the same money as anyone else would pay on a busy day, so I want the rise to be open when they say the park is open. La Extraordinary Voyages building looks impressive. Fortunately, I won't find out what's inside it, because I'm not going to get to ride it. It's closed. We've got the trampolines on water over here, look. They do look cool. If I was 20 years younger, I'd give it a go, <laughs> if it was open. But, but, but I haven't seen an attraction open since I've come back into the park. Like I say, it's half past eight. It's advertised opening time till half past ten. 
as you can see, with me panning around, looks like I've got the park to myself, hey? So I understand a little bit why they've closed the attractions. However, like I just said, I've paid the same money as anyone else. Don't matter what day it is. Operate the rides when you say you're going to. Right, we're going to get in the seat, ready for the Sandman show. I'll put in some highlights when I get there. Oh, my God. 
Nevada. Sans toi, sans ton vortex, rien de tout cela n'aurait été possible. Merci. Oh, merci pour cette incroyable aventure. Bon retour Yeah, so that was the best nighttime show. Probably the best show I've ever seen in my life. It was unbelievable. A phenomenal show. Camera died shortly after that, so I didn't get to wrap up the vlog. Thanks for watching. It was great. I'd highly recommend a trip to Futuroscope, by the way, people. It's easy to get to. 16 minutes from Poitiers Airport. And there's, it's unique. There's nothing else like it I've ever been to. And it's all about being unique, isn't it? Anyway, rambling on now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next vlog. Cheers.